Hello and welcome to this demonstration of DHCP fingerprinting with Aruba OS. In the next few minutes I'm going to demonstrate how to configure fingerprinting and then how to assign roles to devices based on the unique fingerprints that they display during their DHCP requests. A few house cleaning issues. I'm using Aruba OS 6.1.2.4 for this demonstration on a 620 controller and that is the latest version of AOS at the time of the recording. Also I'm using protected EAP with an inner authentication type of EAP CHAP v2 which is really just a fancy way of saying I'm using Active Directory usernames and passwords within a TLS tunnel. Alright, so let's get started. Type config t And then we'll start off by creating a derivation rule. In this case, I'm going to call it device detection. Now that my rule is created, I need to set some conditions within that rule. And what I'm going to do is set a condition that watches the DHCP requests and if it sees a value equal to this string here, 3701 and so, so on and so forth, assign a role of iOS users to that device. So that 3701 string that you're seeing is the string for iOS. Other devices will have unique strings so that you can assign roles to devices like Android or Blackberries and things like that. In this case, we'll just do the one condition. Okay, so my derivation rule is created. Now what I have to do is take that rule and assign it to one of my AAA profiles within the controller. So you can see that the profile I'm going to assign it to is AOS Test Lab. It's just one more command to tell it which user derivation rule to use, in this case, device detection. Okay, so now I've got it created. I have it assigned to a AAA profile, and it's time to start testing some devices. So let's show user table and make sure nobody's currently connected. Great zero entries. Now we'll connect my BlackBerry and see what it looks like. Okay, so we can see my BlackBerry is connected. It's got an IP address. The user is AOS user1. Connected to the ESSID of AOS Test Lab, and it's getting the default role of authenticated. Now we'll connect an iPad and see what's different. So AOS user one, same user. The ESSID is AOS Test Lab, so same network. But the role is iOS users because obviously when it did its DHCP request. It triggered the fingerprinting engine. This concludes the demonstration. Thanks for watching. 